What's up, peers, and welcome to Bitcoin to the Max here on the World Crypto Network. And oh, today is going to be a goodie. Next chapter on what has government done to our money uh, by the one and only Murray Rothbard. Oh, this is, this is going to be good. Uh, stay tuned, stay tuned and uh, sit down because it's going to knock you off your feet. Let's talk about coexisting shit cons. <laughs> I mean, come on, this is so good. He's dissecting multi-coinery now. What? <laughs> so far, we have obtained the following picture of Bitcoin in a purely free economy. A Bitcoin or shit coins are coming to be used as a medium of exchange and Bitcoin minted by a competitive private developers circulating by Satoshis. A price is freely fluctuating on the market in response uh, to peers' demand and supply of productive resources. Freedom of prices necessarily implies freedom of movement for the purchasing power of the money unit, Bitcoin. It would be impossible to use force and interfere with the movement of the value of money without simultaneously crippling the freedom of prices of all goods. Wow, come on. The resulting free economy would not be a chaotic. On the contrary, the economy would move swiftly and efficiently to supply the wants of consumers, of peers. The Bitcoin market can also be free. Oh, it is. Thus far, we have simplified the problem by assuming that only one money exists, well, Bitcoin. Suppose that two more monies continue to circulate in the world market say Bitcoin and a shitcoin. Possibly, Bitcoin will be the money in one area and a shitcoin in another. Or else, they both may circulate side by side. Bitcoin, for example, being uh, Satoshi, Satoshi for Satoshi, more valuable on the market than a shitcoin, may be used for larger transactions and uh, shitcoins for smaller. Lightning network. Would not two monies be impossibly chaotic? Wouldn't the government have to step in and impose a fixed ratio between the two, uh, multi-coinery, <laughs> or in some way democratize one or the other metal? Oh, not, not democratize, demonetize. Impose a single Bitcoin standard? It is very possible that the free market, given free reign, will eventually establish one single money, Bitcoin. But in recent centuries, uh, shitcoins stubbornly remained to challenge Bitcoin. Piers, are you reading the same that I'm reading? This is, this is so good. It's so good. <laughs> It's not necessary, however, for the government to step in and save the market from its own folly in maintaining multi-coins. Shitcoins remain in circulation because, it was, uh, because they were convenient uh, for small change, for example. <laughs> Lightning network. Silver, uh, shitcoins, and gold could easily circulate side by side and have done so in the past. Oh, look at CoinMarketCap, it's a shit show. <laughs> the relative supply of and demand for these uh, two coins will determine the exchange rate between the two. And this rate, like any other price, will continuously fluctuate in response to these changing forces. At one time, for example, uh, shit coins and uh, Bitcoin uh, might exchange at 16 to 1, more like, like 100 to 1. Another time at 215 to 1, etc. Which coin will serve as the unit of account depends on the concrete circumstances of the market. If Bitcoin is the money of account, then most transactions will be reckoned in Bitcoin or Satoshis, and shitcoins will exchange at a freely fluctuating price in terms of Bitcoin. Are you, are you, I hope you're reading this. I mean, it's, it's so good. <laughs> 
It should be clear that the exchange rate and the purchasing power of one unit of the two, met or two coins will always tend to be proportional. If the price of goods are 15 times as much in a shit coin than they are in Bitcoin, then the exchange rate will tend to be set at 15 to 1. If not, it will pay to exchange from one to the other until parity is reached. That's arbitrage. Thus, if prices are 15 times as much in terms of a shit coin as gold, while shit coin to, to Bitcoin is 20 to 1, well, peers will rush to sell their goods for Bitcoin and buy shit coins and then rebuy the goods with the shit coin, reaping a handsome gain in the process. This will quickly restore the purchasing power parity of the exchange rate as Bitcoin gets cheaper in terms of the shitcoin and the shitcoin price of the goods go up and the Bitcoin price of goods go down. The free market, in short, em eminently or and <laughs> the free market, in short, eminently orderly, not only when money or Bitcoin is free, but even when there is more than one money circulating. What kind of standard will, be, will a free market Bitcoin provide? The important thing is that the standard not be imposed by government degree. Because currently, well, the U.S. dollar shitcoin is, okay, is imposed by government decree. If left to itself, the market may establish Bitcoin as a single money, the Bitcoin standard. Well, read Cypher D. The shitcoins and, uh, is a single money uh, or perhaps more likely both as money with freely fluctuating exchange rate, a parallel standard. Well, you see that? Shitcoins will exist. Oh, but they don't have a chance against Bitcoin. Pierce, I, I, I mean, come on. Are, are you reading the same words that I'm reading? This was written in 1963. Murray Rothbard has predicted the shit coinery that is currently happening. What? This is, this is insane. Rothbard is too good. Really, he is. And uh, I say it again. Anything and everything that Murray has written is a must read for every Bitcoin because he truly lays it out there. We don't need anything else. We wouldn't have needed Siphonin's the Bitcoin standard. We truly don't. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing that we have it because it's a fabulous book, but he has basically done what I'm doing right now. He's copied Rothbard, uh, changed a couple uh, things from gold to Bitcoin, from silver to shitcoin, <laughs> and that's it. Truly. All the theory is laid out there. And if you want to understand why Bitcoin will win, well, read Rothbard, because uh, he truly destroys multi-coinery and shit-coinery. Uh, such a beautiful language. I mean, come on. This is, it's insane. Pierce, thank you for joining me. I'm having so much fun. I hope you, do, you have too. And thank you for your support on tallyco.in, uh, where I do not accept any shit coins. Uh, but thank you very much <laughs> for, for giving me some of your truly precious Bitcoin. And Pierce, you are the best. And see you on the next show. Bye-bye. And don't fall for shit coins. Because we don't need them because we have the Lightning Network for small transactions. That's something that Rothbard maybe has not yet foreseen, uh, although the different shapes of money uh, back, I think, chapter five or so, uh, pretty much lays that out as well. Pierce, thank you very much, and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.